Welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how to remove and claim a new YouTube custom URL in 2021. But before we start, I would like to remind you that you only have three attempts of changing your custom URL in the last 12 months. So what that means is that if you have already, I mean, uh, changed your custom URL for the third time in the last 12 months, you will have to wait till the end of the 12 month period before you can actually claim a new custom URL again. Else, if you should proceed with removing your current custom URL, you will not be able to claim a new one until the end of the 12 months period. So this tutorial is for people who have never changed their custom URL or who are to do it for the first time or who have already done it for the second time and they are to do it for the third time or who are to do it for the second time. But if you have already elapsed the three attempts in the last 12 months, please wait till the end of the 12 months period so you can actually claim a new one. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how you can claim a new custom URL. All you have to do is to simply click on the picture icon of your YouTube channel after logging into it. So you click on the picture icon, you scroll down and click on settings. When you click on settings, you come and click on account. And then you simply go down and you'll find view or change your Google account settings. You click on that and then it brings us here. Over here, you simply come and click on personal info. And then over here, in case probably you want to, I mean, you are finding it difficult in arriving at this particular point, this, I will actually leave this link in below in the description of this video which is uh, www.myaccount.google.com slash personal info. If you go to this particular website, it will bring you straight to this place. Okay. So like I said, you click on personal info and then you simply scroll down and you'll find go to about me. So you click on go to about me and then when you click on go to about me, you scroll down further and you'll find your current YouTube custom URL. Now, before you can actually claim a new custom URL, it's important that you remove your current custom URL. So to remove your current custom URL, you simply click on this particular button and then you click on remove. And you click on remove. And then your current custom URL has been deleted. You click on refresh to make sure that it is well deleted. Now come back to YouTube by logging into your YouTube account once again. And this time around, you will try to change the name of your YouTube channel to suit your new custom URL that you, are, you want to create. So to do this, all you have to do is to come and click on the picture icon of your YouTube channel once again, after which you come and click on my channel. And then when you click on my channel, you come and click on custom channel or customized channel. So when you click on that, it brings you over here to your YouTube dashboard or whatever. And then over here, you simply scroll down a bit and come and click on settings, the GI icon over here. When you click on settings, it brings us here. And then when it opens your YouTube account settings, you click on channel. Now, when you click on channel, what happens? You will find over here, uh, you see that currently the name of my YouTube channel is, or my Google account for that matter, is Minukun Tutorials. That is the, the current name of my YouTube uh, channel is Minikun Tutorials. So I'll have to edit this uh, name to suit my new custom URL. That's in case you want to do it. So if in case you, you, you because definitely you will have to do it. So you click on this particular button over here and it will take you to your Google account. And over here, you simply click on this particular button and you can put your surname, you know, and then your last name. Your surname here has to be the name that you want to appear on your YouTube channel. Assume that you, you, you want to name your YouTube channel 
Mavis Tutorials. Then you put Mavis here as your first name, then the last name will be Tutorials. Or you want to name it Best 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 Techno. So you put Best over here, followed by Techno as your last name. In my case, I don't have to. I don't want to do that because I don't want to change my my current um, YouTube name. You know, so I'll just leave it as Minikun Tutorials. Now, after changing your YouTube account name to suit the new custom URL that you want to create, all you have to do is to now log into YouTube once again. So you go in, go into your YouTube account, and then once more you come and click on the picture icon right here. So when you click on the picture icon, this time I click on my channel, and then you come and click on customize channel. When you click on customize channel, what happens? It opens your customization pane here. Else you simply come and click on customization. And after which you come and click on basic info. When you click on basic info, you scroll down a bit and you will find your custom URL here. Now this is the default custom URL. This is this is the custom URL that is often given to people who are even who don't who haven't yet even set their custom URL. People who haven't yet reached let's say the hundred subs subscriber threshold or people who have even reached the 100 subscriber threshold but who have never claimed a custom URL. So this is how, this is the, the default custom URL. And now we want to set up a new custom URL. So all we have to do is to click on set up a custom URL. And then as soon as we click on set a custom URL, what happens? You'll find out, you, you realize that the, the your new YouTube name will display over here. You know, it will, the YouTube will create a, a custom URL to suit your new YouTube name. For instance, I had several custom URLs. This is actually my third time of changing my custom URL. So you realize I have this is the third time. So you'll find Minikun tutorials. Or this is what I was even using before I, I just removed it and tried to claim a new one. You see, so this is the importance of changing the name of your YouTube channel. If you don't do if you don't change your, the name of your youtube channel and you come over here you will not have this possibility so whatever name that you changed will appear here so you see that i have several options because i've been changing my custom url so i just simply come and select this one any any one of at all of your choice you know so i'll pick this one which is mini kun tutorials and then i'll simply click on publish okay now what is YouTube telling us? YouTube is telling us that once a custom URL has been set, it can be changed or trans it can be changed or transferred to a different channel. Okay. Now your custom URL is ready to be set to youtube.com slash channel slash minicoon tutorials. Now just simply confirm it. Okay. Now, after confirming it, my you realize that uh, you know, like um, the new custom URL has replaced the default one. So, if I want to delete it, I can simply come and click hit on the delete. If I want to delete it and claim a new one, I can simply hit on the delete button here to delete it. That's what I was explaining. We could have just come straight into your customization pane right here and come and delete what was there, and then start to set up a new one but you know either either way around is the same thing either you come into the customization pane to delete it or you go to your google account personal info and delete it or remove and remove it is the same thing but for you to if you should come straight into your customization pane to delete it after which you still have to go into your google account settings to set or to 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 change the name of your youtube channel before you come back here once again to set up your custom URL, else your custom your new custom URL will not bear the name, the new name of your YouTube channel. So this is why I had to go through a long procedure. But now that we've just finished, you see that the new custom URL has replaced the existing one, and we are true to go. Now, if I want to, if you want, if I want to open this particular website 
or this particular link i simply can simply come into your my into my web browser and come and type youtube.com slash channel slash minukun tutorials and you see that it, it has brought me to my youtube channel and this marks the end of our tutorial on how to remove and claim a new custom url in 2021 thank you so much for watching and please subscribe